In less than five years, cannabis retailers right here in Massachusetts have seen more than $4 billion in gross sales. And while revenue remains on that upward trend, some industry experts are warning about growing pains. 22 News I-Team reporter Kate Wilkinson examines those challenges and if we've reached the end of the green rush. Cities like Northampton have seen the list of pot shops multiply. However, they anticipate their excise tax revenue this year to be less than 2019 at 975 million. Since pot was legalized, a number of empty buildings in Holyoke have been purchased as part of the process of securing a cannabis license. That's according to Aaron Vega, the city's director of the Office of Planning and Economic Development. However, he warns this has become a reckoning year for the industry. We've seen a lot of the investors already back out. They're going to the next state that's legal, right? This, when you have something new, it's always those big guys that come in first, get all that money in first, and then sort of saturate the market, and then they're able to leave, and then everyone else has to figure it out. In recent months, Connecticut, New York, and Rhode Island have all opened their first recreational pot shops. But as Massachusetts faces one of its first dispensary closures in Northampton, and the value of pot in the state has been cut in half, are we seeing signs of an industry reaching its peak? Here's what UMass Resource Economics professor Lucy Zhaolu Wong had to say. We don't really know whether it's a bubble or not, but what we can see is that there are more competition. So one of the reasons that some people may want to access the market is because there are so many competitors, you have to stand out. She added this is an industry that requires millions to buy into the business and maintain it. And with that added layer of licensing, minorities who were disproportionately impacted by the war on drugs face challenges to enter the industry legally. Professor Wong said black and brown people make up roughly 15 percent of the marijuana industry in Massachusetts. Peyton Schubrick of Six Bricks in Springfield is the third black woman to own and operate her own recreational dispensary in the state. She's hoping the industry can become more inclusive in the next five years. And if prices continue to drop, we need creative folks coming to the forefront. We need creative companies, and that doesn't happen if everybody looks the same. Here in East Hampton, they're actually dropping some of the fees to make it easier for small businesses to open up pot dispensaries within the city. And Mayor Nicole LaChapelle says that she hopes that that will make the process more equitable. We see that these fees are just one more barrier to smaller operators coming into the market. And those smaller operators are really important to a local economy like East Hampton. Both La Chapelle and Vega see the marijuana industry heading a similar direction as beer, with the potential for micro dispensaries, especially as communities like East Hampton prepare to pilot social consumption. Working for you live with the 22 News I-Team, I'm Kate Wilkinson.